I want to experiment with flash freezing of water and I'd like to monitor the temperature while that's happening and the obvious way would be just to put the temperature sensor in the bottle itself but I'm afraid that that might actually give the uh, freezing a place to start so I'm just going to tape it to the back and put some insulation behind it I'm going to set this up in this building here and the forecast for tonight is minus 26. So I've got this all set up. My Raspberry Pi, it's recording whenever it changes, although I've set it so it doesn't respond off of the clock or the thermometer. So hopefully this should catch a flash freeze. I was getting condensation towards the neck of the bottle and I figured that would freeze first and trigger the rest of it, so better to fill the bottle all the way to the top. The top figure on the thermometer is the actual reading on the bottle, whereas the bottom one is ambient temperature. And I did get a relatively sudden freeze, but uh, I figured I could do better. And this time the uh, water temperature never went substantially negative. That's because freezing started uh, right away. It nucleated somewhere in the bottle. You can see it expanding a bit, and now the temperature is holding pretty much steady because ice is gradually forming. As long as there's water and ice in the bottle, the temperature will be around zero degrees. And basically the cold is being used up by making more ice. Now the problem is then the next day the uh, temperature got a little bit warmer. In fact, it even got a little bit above zero. But then the weather turned colder again and you can see that bubble of water in the middle of the bottle gets smaller and smaller. And once it disappears, the bottle temperature starts to drop. Looking at the bottle, I'm surprised how very clear the ice in here is. You can see the foggy bit there towards the back. That's where all the gases trapped in the water got pushed as it froze from the front to the back. It didn't freeze as much from the back because I had this insulating thing on here because of the temperature sensor. Yeah, so totally a narrow bit in the back where the bubbles all got pushed to. Let's thaw this and try again. With the water all the way up into the neck, I realized that cooled down the most and the freezing would start there. But if the neck wasn't full, the condensation would freeze first. So I had the idea of putting a layer of oil on top to seal it off. This time the thermometer reading went as low as minus 6.2 before the flash freeze. And of course it went immediately up to zero afterwards. So that was flash frozen hours ago, but uh, it is not frozen entirely solid because the freezing is exothermic and it warms up the uh, water enough in the process that it can't freeze all of it. And it's basically slush all over. So I'll warm that up and try again. And this time the reading got as low as minus 8 before it froze. And here it is again in what seems like slow motion but still sped up. It takes about 20 seconds for the freezing to work its way across the bottle. And again, the flash freeze didn't freeze the bottle solid. Uh, you can see the water level rise later on as the rest of the water starts to freeze conventionally. And here's some flash frozen water. And I thought it was kind of interesting how the flash frozen water has got this texture to it. But I left this one actually in the freezer for a while. And you can see there's a clear area around the outside, which is where it's frozen completely solid. So that texture of the flash frozen water is really just the slush. Once it freezes solid, it goes mostly clear. Well, I didn't expect water freezing the bottle to be that interesting. Who knows? Maybe paint drying could be interesting too.